Blog Talk Radio. seeking salvation in the mud. Amen. Her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between holy and profane. Neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean. And that's what you have today when you have preachers who were married to men and two women in a church ceremony. Amen. And said that it's been ordained by God. But God's word has never ordained the marriage of two men and two women, amen. It's an outlaw that wicked, you can't even call it sex, amen. It's not sex, amen. It's a demonic act between two subhuman people, amen. They say, well, oh, the, the lesbians and, 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 and homosexuals or sodomites, excuse me, you don't use the word homosexual, they people too. Yeah, in the admission, they got eyes, they got arms, but in their character, and their soul, they are subhumans, amen. They are monsters, amen. They have put no difference between clean and unclean, amen. I'm going to tell you with Romans, the first chapter. And we know about God condemning the Sodomites and Lesbians, and we know in verse 32 that he condemned them to death as well as those who follow and support them sympathetic well they have rights too yeah they have a right to repent that's the only right a lesbian that's the only right a sodomite has pedophile transsexual transvestite transgender whatever you want to call it the only right you have is to repent amen in verse 29 but they forget about 29 30 and 31 being filled with all unrighteousness fornication wickedness covetousness maliciousness Full of envy, murder, debate, deceit. Deceit, amen. Malig malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of God. Despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors 
of evil things, disobey, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. Amen. But I want to really hit on deceit, haters of God, inventors of evil things, and covenant breakers. A hater of God hates God. And when you hate God, you hate God's word. Amen. So when God says he had given Adam a helpmate, a woman, Eve, his wife to marry, they said, no, God made a mistake. I, I, I want to marry a man. Praise God. And I'm a woman, and I want to marry a woman. You're a hater of God. Amen. And you're a victim of evil things. And the government say, well, it, that's a right in the Constitution. There's no provision in the Constitution for sodomites, for lesbians, for civil unions. Nowhere in the Constitution of the United States can you find any provision made for a sodomite couple or for two lesbians. Now, all you educated people out there, you go to the uh, Constitution and you find it. You find it, you mail it to a true light. Amen. But you can't mail it. You won't mail it because you'll never find it. Amen. But you'll find our coward politicians, amen, who, who have no backbone to fight this movement spearheaded by Obama. And the first story deals with, I guess, L.J. Devereaux, a woman, amen, and she wanted to be a man. And she's born with female genitalia, which means she's a woman. Praise God. I like a man. Now, she had a job. She, you born a she. She had a job at a urban treatment associate based in Camden, New Jersey. Amen. And it's a, a place where you drop urine samples. Amen. So her job was to watch the men. But when they found out that this so-called male was a female, she was fired. Amen. Now, and she went on to say that I need a job to support myself and my family. Amen. I'm a hard worker and it's unfair that I was fired over something that had nothing to do with how well I did the job. And then in April, New York Times, I report that all of Darrow's government issued documents show that he is legally male. How can a she be legally male? Well, you may be legally male by man's law. But by God's standard, you are a female, amen. I don't care what legal basis you have, you claim to have, amen, to be a man. You were born a woman, amen. As long as I've been a person, I live as a man. I did everything a boy did. I climbed trees, I played football. Probably said last night, girls don't play football. Girls don't play basketball, amen. Girls don't play uh, the sports that will make them take on the nature of a boy. All right. Yes. I play with trucks. Most of the people in my life, all they know is I'm male. Amen. And when a supervisor approached him, he asked, was he a male? And, and did she have any surgeries? And their wrote, replied, it's private. I don't have to answer that. And they fired her. So we thank God for that uh, company fired. This want to be male. Amen. Thank God that someone is standing up for righteous, amen. You cannot pass yourself off as a man when God made you a female. What is wrong with America today, amen? So, looking forward to some updates on that story. Next we have Columbia College in Chicago. Homecoming king and queen are both sodomites. As you can see here. <laughs> one got the king crown on, one got the the, the tiara on for the for, for the queen. Amen. Oh, oh my. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sodomites. <laughs> Columbia College, Chicago, Prophet. It's in Chicago. Oh. It gets worse. Yeah. The queen. Mm. Quite natural one with, with a tear on, mm -hmm. the earrings. Let me get it. Only Shaversky Royal counterpart is Russell Yost, that's the king, the homecoming king. Both are UGAY, but both are sodomite men. Only Shaversky, the queen, wore a dress to the ceremony. 
So he came with a dress. Now, YouTube, I know you're shocked by the dress, but let me tell you something. Some of us grew up obscure to this movement. I did. When I was a nine-year-old child on my old street, we had a house full of sodomites that lived down the street. And every Sunday, the sodomite put on that dress and heels and came down the street yelping like Michael Jackson. Don't yelp they do? That's for sodomites. I don't know if it's some kind of cold or they have torture or what. I know they have torture, amen, because they're trying to do something that God did not make him to be, amen. And he was six foot three or four, barefooted. Well, come down the street, man, six, seven, six, eight, and I remember just watching him come down the street with a dress on on Sunday. And a wig, don't forget the wig, with a wig on, yelping and all these little hand movements. Women don't act like that. Women, women don't talk like that. They don't snap their fingers like that. Now I'm going back over 30 years. So this movie's been here. It was not time for that movie yet. Wow. They've been doing this. Yes. Amen. Disco was all about the transsexuals or the transvestites. Mm -hmm. They love to dress audacious, bold, brassy. Amen. But it wasn't their time yet. So that, that movie went down. But now it's their time. Why? Because God say in the last days, Perilous times shall come, amen. And we are in perilous times when a college can have a homecoming king and queen, both sodomites, males, and one wear a dress to the ceremony. How sad. That's sad. Yeah, amen. It gets even worse. Hmm. I have here another article. I thank God for being a soldier on the battlefield of the Lord. Amen. You know, God said, if you had a cold, you'll speak out of his mouth, didn't he? Yes, Amen. And true like we are the standard barriers against this wicked movement. And I know you two, you keep saying, goodness, almost all y'all, y'all, y'all uh, uh, teachings, y'all preach on it, y'all panels, y'all keep hitting about the sodomites. Nobody else well, how can we preach, uh, come out from under these separate and don't fornicate, drink and smoke, when y'all ain't know what normal being normal is, amen. It's not normal for two males to marry and to have sex. It's not normal for two females to marry and have sex. That's abnormal, amen. So we can't teach you the milk of the word, as Paul stated, because America's not even normal yet. So we gotta teach you what's normal for me to get back to the basic doctrines of the word of God. Amen, all right? Teach. No, this is Mr. Lewis Marinelli, and I'm going to call your name because you're a coward. <laughs> he was for the National Organization of Marriage. And which means that he was against civil unions huh. in the Sodomite Coalition. Amen. And he worked for them as early as last year. Matter of fact, he did a Monte State summer bus tour last year. And he said those who wish to promote homosexual behavior are encouraging people to shorten their lifespans. So he's on fire for the movement against the sodomites and for being normal. But Mr. Marinelli turned coward. Amen. Now he's supporting this movement. And he, tell, he said, the lesbian and sodomite people whom I made a profession of opposing became real people to me instantly. For the first time I had empathy for them and remember asking myself what I was doing. Were you write about that? And then the director said this defection is a good example of what is and will continue to be consistent in the fight for equality, said Kevin Nix, NOM project director for Human Rights Campaign. Once people actually meet LGBT people, they are more likely to support equality. No, no. I'm not. No. You like not, amen. Right. I can meet your million times over, amen. Right. Y'all still devils. You still gonna lay the fire if you don't repent, amen. Yeah. What a coward. Yeah. What a coward. Now, now watch. Right. Watch your statement, she say. Any support or endorsement of Peter LaBaria does I retract. I have been reading via Twitter and it's you know, Peter Barbara was the one who came to our Amen, that's right. our uh, great time we had in Atlanta last year. Amen. Amen. He's still standing up against the Sodomite Coalition. He's fighting for the family values. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
I have been reading via Twitter and his website what this guy has to say. And it's clear that he gets a hateful man, and I would be embarrassed and ashamed to be associated with him. But she was like, we are, uh, I won't say honored, but we are glad, amen, to know that Peter the Barber is standing up for the truth, amen. And his power has cut tail and ran. And he says, I agree that the Southern community are fighting for our civil rights. So in that way, it is indeed a civil rights movement. How can, and, and, and let me say this to you, you sodomites, and say, well, who, who should be born this way? Amen. So what you're saying is, you born this way, and who would choose to be born this way? So what you're really saying is that, if it is so a, a great lifestyle, why would you say, who choose to be born this way? Meaning, it's not a great lifestyle, amen. So which one is it, amen? You say, now, who choose to be born this way? You try to say something bad. You can't change. Amen. So what is it? Is it is it good to be a sodomite? Well, not good, good to be a sodomite. No, it's bad to be a sodomite, amen, to be born this way. And it shows you. What, what's this doing? It's showing you that if he can change, well, everybody else can change. Amen. Just like when McCain did a 360. And now he's all in. He, he, he's about their best friends now. He's going off into the corner. Amen. What a shame. God brought that man out from a, a condition that many did not see. A prison of war. And God did that for him to stand up to the movement today. Amen. That was the only reason God brought him out, McCain. And you turn your back on God. Well, you say, well, I ain't no preacher. I ain't saved. You don't got to be saved instead of for God. Amen. What's right. What's normal. Against nature. Amen. Y'all say it. Any comments I made that attack sodomites, he said homosexual sodomites, say man, on a personal level, I retract. You big coward. You a coward. You have no backbone. Amen. You a chump. Good goodness. I can't call you mother to say it now. But you are headed right like Romans 113 says, you are worthy of death. Amen, Mr. Marinelli. Because you have sided with the enemy. How can you be on God's side for one and now you do a 360? And say, now you support this movement. So why? Because is it money? Is it a corporate advantage? Amen. You're taking that mark of the beast. You can move on up. Amen. You can move on up right to the lake of fire. Amen. But I thank God again for true light. Set a standard of righteousness against this wicked coalition. Amen. It's getting stronger by the day. I want to close with. Well, no, no. I got some more. Well, you got a couple more comments. I, I got to bring this up. He said, I consider myself agnostic. Oh. And while homosexual acts may very well be immoral in the eyes of Christian morali morality, I can no longer understand by any comments I made in the past about the immorality of homosexuality. He still says it's wrong. But how do you say something wrong and then go against it? Amen. If, 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 if I say I don't like Big Macs, and you see me every week eating a Big Mac, then I, that means what I'm saying is not true. I like Big Macs, amen. Right. So if you're against same-sex marriage and you know that it's wrong, why would you support this movement? And once I wrote that homosexuals are deceitful people who care only about themselves. Honestly, aren't we all? No, <laughs> praise God. Right. It was wrong for me to exclude everyone else from that description. We all lie, no. And when it comes down to it, we will do what is best for our, ourselves. Yes, getting saved, amen. Being blood washed by the blood of the Lamb, being water baptized in Jesus' name, yes, amen. So throwing in a little levity, I stand by the comment, but want to apologize for limiting this scope to the sodomite community. Amen. So we see here that this man is a a a a enemy. Of God, yes. not only just to, to turn, but he made the comments. Amen. He said, "Homosexuality is wrong," and in my opinion, my transition from an opponent of same-sex marriage to support it does not mean that I certainly think homosexuality is a good thing. What, 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 what are you trying to say then? You can't again. You doing a 360? Then you turn around to another 360. Which one is it? What it is? This political pressure to give in. 
Everybody's doing it. And you got Obama backing it. You got all these It Gets Better campaign. You got all these hip hop stars into it. You, you got all your politicians. You got judges. I saw like judges. They everywhere. You got the pedophilia rings, amen. It's all coming together, amen. But one thing about it, it cannot come against True Light, amen. True Light gonna fight it to the very end, amen. And I'm gonna close with, you know, God always say that He do His pleasure, amen. And there's always a story. And God woke me up and He told me to research and find these stories, amen. And God always had a story to give you hope. Not that God's asleep, you know, God don't sleep or slumber, amen. But God always has a, a remnant bush. He always had a story that, a, a, that will uh, encourage us, amen. Now, little old Hungary. How many know what Hungary at? Amen. Not many, other than maybe a couple of people. Amen. Yeah, it's somewhere over there uh, by Poland, um, Czechoslovakia, in that area. Amen. Somewhere over in that area. Amen. Small com country. People don't talk about it. Amen. But Hungary is standing up against the Sodomite and let them move. Amen. I thank God for that. And it says here, Sodomite group in Hungary are protesting the country's new draft constitution, which they say includes a ban on same-sex marriage, amen. We thank God for Hungary, amen. And it says the word of the draft says that the country protects the marriage by saying between man and woman, amen. Not man and man, not woman and woman, not a partner A, partner B, but between man and woman. And so the Sodomite Coalition, the coalition for, uh, they say J Y equality, but they Sodomites, they're trying to hold a, a rally outside of Parliament. And in that constitution, it says that everyone is equal under law, like ours. But unlike gender, race, age, and other characteristics, it does not mention discrimination protection for LGBT people. Same thing in our great Constitution, amen. You can't find nowhere in there for LGBT people, amen. So we thank God for Hungary. And also, it gets better. It appears to ban abortion. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. To ban abortion. You know that Dr. God's nail? That is one of the biggest devils. And I hope you listen. I hope some of his family members listen. You are one of the biggest devils of all time. You worse than Bundy, John Wayne Gacy, and uh, I forget the other one, put together. Dawn. Because anytime a man can stick a needle into a woman's stomach and pull out a fully, uh, fully uh, born child with all his arms and extremities and pull it out, take scissors, snap his spine, throw it in the box while you're looking, and keep on going back to what you're doing. You are a devil right from the pits of hell, amen. And you're going to have your reward one day. And like I say, they're trying to get you death penalty right now. It's not good enough, amen. God's death penalty is going to be good enough for you, Mr. God's nail, amen, if you don't repent. But my goodness, you are a devil. And I thank God for that blog radio, amen. And they listen to, to our, 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 our telecast, and they even said, uh, uh, the article that wrote it said that God's nail and his cohorts were subhuman, amen. Right. He's going to judge you a pedophile, right. a sodomite, or a lesbian. When you can kill a child and get thrown in a box and keep on going like a, a child nothing more than uh, today, I was out of my yard chopping up weeds, or the, the bamboo, eh? you know, very hard work. Now they're chopping, taking them, and get thrown. That's what you think of a child, amen. He's a devil. But I thank God for hungry. It appears to ban abortion by saying that fetuses will be protected from conception onwards. Oh, what they're saying is, once that seed hits the egg, that's a baby. Amen. And we're going to protect it. Let it be no hungry, amen. It's like, let it be no too light, amen. A seed of the heel of the light that cannot be here, amen. Thank God for let it be no hungry. Stand up. It's a sodomite. It's empty. And for the babies, amen. And also it says, um, the country does not recognize sodomite marriage or allow sodomite couples to adopt. So I thank God. You can't adopt a baby in Hungary. 
You can't get married and hungry, amen. Only love me you can do is repent and get baptized. And then water back out your name over there, amen. So we thank God for all these stories, church. And it just shows us that God is in control. Seemingly, the Antichrist is on the move with Mr. Obama. But God always has a story out there that shows us. Thank God for you getting us to hold on by faith. Thank God for my love to hold on by faith, amen. This is wicked movement. Mr. Bavaria holding on by faith, amen. People are fighting this movement, but again, you got to come under the umbrella of Prophet Walker, amen. These splinter groups, they're all right, but you got to come up one central unit led by the Prophet, amen. And you do that, amen, you can start getting these gas prices back, back down, amen. These house prices back down, amen. Start getting $20 minimum wage, amen. But you got to come under the Prophet, amen. So I thank God, again, for these stories. Thank God for the Word of God. And now we're going to call it for remarks, Elder Lanson, amen. amen. Praise the Lord, Mary Gay, because I know Ricky Smith, another hand for our powerful presentation. I give all honor to Jesus Christ who's been in my life. All honor due to our great and fearless leader, Apostle, Prophet Bishop Walker, beloved left lady Mother Walker, and all the saints in the household of faith. And uh, I thank Presiding to Ricky Smith for them stories. And you two artists, what we're trying to do, we're trying to raise you up to a level where you'll be aware to let you know what's going on in this wicked world. We thank and praise God for Prophet Walker was never back down. He leaves the fight with some satellite and love him. And, and you cowards like John Boehner and Mike Huckabee and you Tea Party people, you back down from Obama. You had a chance to make a stand. You could have shut the government down and make a point with his Planned Parenthood. You could back down. And Planned Parenthood kills 900 babies a day. Planned Parenthood. They get $350 million a year. And I know the Hyde Amendment says you can't spend federal money directly on abortion. But they know how to get around that. And trust me, every cent they get, where they may spend some on condoms and whatever they're spending on is still wrong anyway. They don't tell you, they encourage your kids to have sex. We teach abstinence. We teach our young people to wait till you get married. And I don't care how many condoms, what color it is, what the name of it is, it's still wrong. Because the only protection is wait till you get married. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Ain't no problem gonna stop you from going to hell. Is it? Right. Cause when Jesus put that sky, ain't, ain't no protection from God when you living in sin. You had a chance to take a stand. So I wanna hear no more about right wing, tea party, conservative, evangelical Christians. You're not no Christian. You a coward. And God ain't never called a coward to lead his people on the day. Prophet Walker is not a coward. And I wanna bring forth these stories just talking about the sodomite and lesbian coalition. And that's why you don't make a difference between a sodomite, a lesbian, and a pedophile. Because right. yeah. the ultimate goal of a sodomite and lesbian is to be a pedophile, right. is to have sex with your children. And you may not think, but turn your back low enough, and soon they get an the opportunity, they're going to try to make them move. Why? Because they're demon possessed. Their mind are warped. They're, they're schizophrenic. Yeah. They don't know the difference between a man, a woman, and a child. And I'm going to bring this story. Yeah. About three weeks ago, the world's largest online pedophile ring was busted and uh, it, it started in the Netherlands and even I believe five Americans got arrested at the height of his uh, membership it had about 70,000 members and it was about a three year investigation Europol which is a European police they said uh, they had, it was called Operation Rescue they identified 670 suspects and that 230 abused children in 30 countries mm, have been taken safety and they said more children are expected to be found. But listen to this. Who do you think these pedophiles was? Let, let, me, let me read this. They include teachers, police officers, scout leaders, and one man who worked at some youth camp abused more than 100 children by himself. So that's why we don't believe in teachers who are lesbian. Sodomite and lesbian have no business being doctors, lawyers, bankers, politicians, Police officers, goodness. You look at Spartanburg, and you, I, I don't know if it's a straight woman on the police for it. They all look like lesbians. Which bring me to my next story. Atlanta just promoted Renee Propez to be the uh, deputy chief of police, which means she's second in command, a lesbian. And we've been to Atlanta. We know they got some of the most notorious lesbians in America. Look at this. And look at that butch officer that she's taking a picture with. Mm -hmm. And she actually marched in the so-called 
Gay Pride Parade two years in a row. Mm. Now, what example is she setting for the community? And she claims she lived with her so-called partner. But you can't find a partner in the Bible. All right. You find husband and you find wife. And husband is a man and wife is a woman. This is a shame. A police officer. It's a same person trying to be one, they say, well, your credit bad. It's not about credit. They want to get the legends in there. They want to get the sodomites in there. Yeah. I, let me hold this picture up again. Look at the one, the blind. Now look at that. You can't tell whether that's a man or a woman. I tell you what, it, it's an it. And it's sick and it's disgusting in America at the time that we take a stand against this wickedness. Teachers, they be with your children 40 hours a week. Sometimes parents had two or three jobs. You barely see your children. And I think a sodomite, a lesbian, they're going to try to influence your child. They're going to try to touch your child. If you think it won't happen, keep watching. And I want to bring this final story up. Now, this is Deputy Chief, but this one actually made it all the way up to Chief. Two years ago, uh, Jane Casper. Now, tell me, that's not a lesbian. Look just like a man. Named Police Chief in Tampa, Florida. Mm. And now I saw a YouTube video they made about her. Just sick and disgusting. And she claimed to be a mother. Now, I don't know how she got the kids, but she's not no biblical mother, man. She made, right. she's a, a lesbian, but lesbians are not mothers because they don't have children. They're not the way. They can't have them. So I'm going to show you how far reaching this is. Like Elder Ricky Smith brought, it's conspiracy. You got athletes, actors, politicians, doctors, lawyers, so-called educated scholars, and that cowardly uh, psychiatric group and medical groups who yeah. up until 1975, I believe it was, they said sodomy, homosexual behavior, was a mental illness. Then the um, uh, sodomite groups kept coming against you, putting that political pressure. Then you caved. You so-called Republicans caved. But Prophet Walker would never cave. True Light would never cave. We're going to continue to fight you sodomite letters to not one left in this world. And if we don't do it, whatever we don't do, God will do the rest. When he come back, Jesus is against this wicked movement on the day, so I just think and praise God for continuing to expose these demons for the devils they are and true light. We're going to keep fighting this fight and pray my strength to the Lord. Now let's all rise and receive my great prophet, Bishop H. Walker. Let's give God praise in the Lord. Thank God for the tonight. And again, we serve warning to you two viewers. Don't dare stand before the judgment throne of God with an unrepented heart after you view these teachings from a true light. And a second Peter, let me just kind of close this thing out. But before we get to Second Peter, let's get uh, Deuteronomy 23. Uh, jump right into verse 17. And then we're going to connect with Second Peter chapter 2. There shall be no harlot of the daughters of Israel. Nor no harlot, no prostitute of the daughters of Israel. Nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. No sodomite. No male-to-male -male sex. Yes, Lord, amen. No sex with an animal. Yes, Lord. It's an abomination to God. Yes, Lord. Another pastor of scripture in Leviticus said, if you find a man lying with a man as he lies with a woman, they both shall surely be put to death. Yes. And I want to connect this with Romans 1 and 32 and then back into a second uh, second Peter. Yes. Who knowing the judgment of God Knowing the judgment of God That they would commit such things Now the sin is talking about the previous text Subject matter which is lesbian behavior and sodomy They that do such things Are worthy of death Are worthy of death Now that's in the dispensation of grace That's under God's mercy So all of these hypocrite preachers Again, Kenneth Coleman, Joyce Myers uh, Fred Price, all you hypocrite preachers, T.D. Jakes, you dare tell these people that they can live a life unrepented before God and be saved? You dare tell people that they can be a sodomite and be saved? Be a lesbian and still be saved? Where do you get your scripture text from? The love of God does not preclude anyone who lives a life that's unrepented before the Lord. Grace dispensation does not change repentance. The last teaching Jesus gave from Bethany 
uh, Luke 24, 47, that repentance and remission of sin be preached to all nations yes. in his name. Yes. Repentance was the final teaching. Yes. Uh, Adamic sin that you are born into is still with you if you don't repent of that Adamic sin. Yes. Now that Adamic sin can include anything that God said is a sin. Yes. And one of the things that we are speaking about is the sin of sodomy yes. and the sin of lesbian behavior. Yes. It's a sin. And unless it's repented of, and that does not mean I'm just sorry. That means I'm sorry and I'm not going to do it again. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. But when you don't have any foundation, any strength of righteousness, any moral uh, instructions being taught to it, a civilized people supposedly, where are the people going to find the foundation to establish a life's character on if it's not told in the righteous manner? Yes. Since we're in Romans... 10th chapter, I believe around verse 17, but they have not all obeyed. Yes. They have not all obeyed the gospel, for Isaiah said, Lord, who has believed our report? They have not all obeyed the gospel. Gospel means doctrine or instructions. They have not all obeyed the gospel. I want you to back up to verse 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed, and how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard? How can they call on Jesus, whom they don't believe, and how shall they what? Believe, in believe in him, him talking about Jesus, uh -huh. of whom they have not heard, if they haven't heard, and how shall they hear without a preacher? If you don't have a preacher to tell you about Jesus, yes, how are you going to know about Jesus? If you don't have a preacher to tell you the difference between right and wrong, how are you going to know what is yes, right and what is yes, wrong? Yes. So again, we say to all these multitudes, who, well, we know that you're watching by the way of YouTube because I get countless of emails. And I'm not about, and I want to straighten this out. First of all, I'm not about to debate on whether you should go to church on Saturday or Sunday. I'm not going to debate with you on the principles of good and evil. I've already taught you, and I want to, again, bring this, and I say this with, in any, any form of decency and in order. I'm not sent to be taught. I'm sent to teach. Now, if, if you want to be taught, then you can listen to me. If you don't want to be taught, don't waste your time in emailing me because I don't have the time to read your negative report. I don't need you to try to teach me. I'm trying to teach you. If you have a humble heart and will listen, if you can take on some humility. I just happen to be the prophet and you're not. Now you tell me about that. Scratch your head, get mad, pray to God, pull your hair out, whatever you want to do. You can't change a biblical fact. You can't change a spiritual fact that's divine. So I hope that everyone can take this in its proper context. I'm trying to serve notice by the Japan earthquake and the subsequent events that these are the last days and you've got to get it right now. God will not compromise his word for the least of these. He's not going to do it. In the days of Noah, Noah preached for 120 years and the people still would not listen. But when it began to rain, then they began to take notice. Not when it's around their ankles, but when they got up to around their waist, they said something wrong here. We ain't never seen this happen before. Amen. Then when it started getting up neck high, yes. they ran to the ark and pounded it on the door. But God sent an angel and closed that door. Amen. Noah couldn't open that door if he wanted to. Amen. I'm trying to serve the people in this. Don't doubt the Bible. Yes. Don't doubt the existence of God. Yes. God is real. Yes. Now, God is allowing this wickedness for two reasons. One, is to fulfill prophecy. And the other is because of the spirit of unbelief. Yes, Lord, amen. You got the spirit of unbelief. Mm. And then you see the prophecy of God that warned about the spirit of unbelief in the last days. Right. Then you can bring the Bible to its proper completion. Yes. And you understand that we are in the last days. And you got to get it right now. God won't accept. No, I'm sorry when that trumpet sounded. Yes. So I'm saying, again, now belief is based on a development of character. Belief, and some of y'all waiting for some kind of 
other signs. He even set the greatest sign in the world, that Japanese earthquake. That's the greatest sign in modern times. If you can't believe that in the subsequent events following that, radiation pouring spread in the ocean. The, 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 the Japan, one of their main industries is fish. Yes. How are you going to eat the fish if the fish is poison? That's right. We need to take heed what is going on. Yes. War in Iraq, war in Afghanistan, war in uh, uh, Libya. What are you going to do about the, pro yes. uh, the Bible prophecy? Yes. You got to get it right. Where does it go? Yes, second Peter. Chapter 2. Yes. Uh, second Peter chapter 2. Jump right into verse 10. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government. Uncleanness means a sinful life. Those who lust after a sinful life and despise government. Now it's talking about, it's not talking about the United States government. It's talking about spiritual government yes. it's talking about spiritual uh, hierarchy when leadership teaches you and tells you what is right and what is wrong then you've got to follow the leadership God has set before the church yes. alright we presumptuous are they self will self will they are not afraid to speak evil against they'll you. speak evil against the prophet in the Lord's house yes. and have no fear they'll rob people of their money to buy brand new cars and live in six, seven hundred thousand dollar homes and have bank accounts for their children, their grandchildren, at the expense of the people in the congregation who hardly live, might live from paycheck to paycheck. Oh, yes, Lord. Of course, in the Preflow Dollar Church, they tell me they don't like no working class people. You, you, you can't work at uh, Kmart and, and, and go to Preflow Dollar Church. Oh, oh no, no. Fair Price Church? Oh, no, no. Oh, please. If you ain't doctor so and so, or attorney so and so, uh, or got some kind of inheritance from somewhere, no, you don't go to those kind of churches. First of all, you make them look like a fool because they say God wants you to be rich like me. But if everybody had some foolish people sending them uh, what five thousand envelopes a week, each envelope maybe with twenty-five to hundred dollars to five hundred dollars in the each envelope, tax exempt, non-profit. Well, you, well, I guess you would have a couple of Bentleys or two. But these are foolish people who will support a pimp. Yes, that's all. You're a foolish person. You're more foolish than the woman stand out on the street corner to take her money to a pimp who won't take the money and buy dope with it. Where's the end result? The end result is you're a fool. Not him. You're the fool. Not the pimp. Yes. The pimp is exploited, yes, but you're the fool. That's right. You take money and give it to T.D. Jakes. No. Whether he's a sodomite or if he ain't a sodomite, he goes along with the program. Mm -hmm. and, right. and the Bible says in Romans 132, they both should be put to death. T.D. Right. Jakes is the same one that said David was a sodomite. Right. Same T.D. Jakes. Right. I hope somebody's listening by way of YouTube. Right. Same T.D. Jakes. Said David was a sodomite. Had a sexual relation with Jonathan. God forbid. I know he picked the wrong one. Yeah. Come on now. Oh yes, Lord. Yes. David like women. Amen. Oh yes. Amen. Oh praise God. Amen. Did you see a naked woman taking a bath? Yes. Did he rape her? Yes. Did he like it so much? Yes. He killed her husband to have her? Yes. That's right. Sisters don't do that. Oh, hallelujah. Preach, prophet, hallelujah. Y'all, T.D. J., you picked the wrong one. Yes. Where am I? Where is angels which are greater in power and might bring that railing accusation against them before the Lord? Uh -huh. But these as natural brute beasts. Now it's comparing the mentality and the character of hypocrite people who will actually defy God's word when the Bible said angel won't do that but these people will defy God's word you got people uh, I believe mean, the minister brought out tonight tea party you're supposed to be conservative conservative means to defend family values where's your leadership 
Where, 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 are your, where are your leaders who will stand up and say, we ain't going to have no more sodomites. We ain't going to have no more lesbian teaching our children. We're not going to have no more uh, plant parenthood. Case closed. Yeah. But when they turn to heat, praise God, your leaders compromise. Amen. I thought your leaders was going to take a stand mm -hmm. and close down the government just because they didn't like Obama. Mm -hmm. But you know a coward is a coward. I don't care how you yes, dress them up. Yes, you're right, Prophet. And they're all the same. Yes. Where can the American people turn to? You turn to the left, you're going to run into the same thing. You turn to the right, you're going to run into the same thing. Ain't no place to turn to but God. Yes. You got to have enough humor to tell God. It's just like the farmer watching over his chicken. Yeah. So, so the so 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 the fox is is, is killing the chicken. So he he chooses a wolf because wolf is, he better than the fox. Right. So I'll get me a wolf to watch over my chicken. Yeah. <laughs> the wolf gonna eat more more chicken than the fox. Yeah, right. Yes. Right. <laughs> you can't choose a devil. Yes. To watch over people and protect them from another devil. Amen. Yeah. Finish me up. But things as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. What well, made to be what? Taken and destroyed. Now the Bible says these these people who go to churches and hypocrite, right. these so-called politicians who won't stand up and defend God's Bible, they should be taken what? And destroyed. And destroyed. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Bible calls them brute beasts. Yeah. Hallelujah. Read. Speak evil of the things that they understand not. They'll speak evil against true light. Uh -huh. They speak evil about people who will confront them and, and, yes, and point yes, out the error yes, of right. sodomy and lesbian behavior. Yes. They speak evil about that. Yes. They, they, they hide it behind uh, human rights. Yes, right. Human rights? Can there be a human right for a person to have the right to defy God's natural order when God made humans? That's right, Prophet. The only human right it's God's right. Every right. time you, you, you go against God's right, you're going against the human right because God created all humanity. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Including Obama. Right. Praise the Lord. Right. Read. And shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Shall utterly perish in their own corruption. And shall receive the reward of unrighteousness. Shall receive the uh, reward of every sinful yeah. person that's unrepentant. As they that count it pleasure to riot in the daytime. Right now, they're having a good time. Yes. Man, they got their federal judges. They got Sotomayor on the Supreme Court and the other uh, lady on the Supreme Court who's for baby murder, for lesbians and, and sodomite behavior. On the Supreme Court, the highest court in the world, because the highest court in America, that's the highest court in the world. All right? Spots they are and blemishes. Spots they are and blemishes. Sporting themselves with their own deceiving. They in your congregations. While they feast with you. While they have church with you. God say they ought to be taken out and destroyed. I thank God for the word tonight. Let's for the spirit of God that makes in the house for me. We have a good time. Yeah. Some of y'all came a little bit late, but y'all missed it. I missed the good time. Yeah. Well, we came with all of y'all. You can get a sound. Yeah. 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 Yeah.